Hi, it's Nat at Black Cat Crafts. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a little caravan um, 3D gift box. Um, this just holds a little treat size dreamy. I've got a pack of these in Aldi. Um, fits quite nice. There you go. So I've got some of these like Mao Alms. Fit in there nice as well. Okay, right. So I'm obviously using the um, dies that go with the um, Trees for Sale stamp set. So you can get these dies for free when you spend £90. Um, if you want to come shop with me, I'll leave the link below. Um, okay, right, let's get started. So you're going to need a piece of Coastal Cabana um, cardstock. This measures six and a half by two. And then we're going to do a little bit of scoring. <clears throat> so with your scoreboard, on the two inch side, you want to score at one. Then on the six and a half inch side, you want to score at one, three, four, and six. And that's it. Please excuse my nails. I've really got to sort them out. My sister couldn't even look at them yesterday. <gasps> Sorry, Fliss. <laughs> right, let's burnish our score lines. Okay. So as it's both um, an inch deep aside, it doesn't matter which one you do. So we're just gonna cut that off. little bit off there and then we're gonna I just like to cut off the score line so I'm just cutting out that score line there you can see it's a little bit raised so I'm just gonna go either side of that and I'm just gonna cut that out <coughs> excuse me it's got this cough that's just hovering around since I've got it bloody COVID does not want to go away. But then I've heard that everybody who has this cough, just it just takes ages for it to shift. Rather annoying as well. So with this, we're going to fold this over on, on this little one here. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue. Fold that over. So now we're going to pop these bits in. So we do the two middle ones first. And I'm going to fold that one down. And then I'm going to fold that one on top. And I'm going to turn that over. Use my bone folder just to make sure that's all stuck. a little box now I've cut out <coughs> two caravans um, again this is in coastal cabana then I've die cut out I'm only going to do one because this one is going to be on the back so you're not going to need to do that so this is blushing bride so I've used that for the bottom piece and the top piece. So we're going to glue those on. I'm going to do the bottom bit as well. that and then I've also cut out the curtains and a little bow um, they are in polished pink and I've also done another wreath and I've cut that out in soft succulent 
So we're going to pop our little bow onto our little wreath. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue either side of the bow to stick that on our wreath. I just think these dies are just so cute. I've got another card to show you as well. Um, hopefully I get that recorded today and I'll, I'll pop that on YouTube in a couple of days. And then we're just going to pop our little curtains on. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue on the back of the window. <laughs> There's tiny little bits, they're so fiddly. So I'm just going to pop our little curtains on. Make sure you can see those. Oh, they're a little bit high. Like that. <clears throat> and then again, I've just cut out a little bit of um, vellum. And I'm just going to stick that on the back. I'm just going to cut a little bit. Is that going to fit? Cut a little bit off there. So that's going to go on the back to cover up our window and the window on the door. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue just around the window and around the door just so we can stick our vellum on. I hope you can hear me on this video. Um, apparently I went a little bit quiet on my last one. So I've got, I've got the phone closer to my mouth. <laughs> okay. And let's pop our wreath on. A little bit of glue just on there. And we're going to stick that again on the door. Right, now with the window, <coughs> I'm just going to pop a little bit of Wink Stella just on our vellum. Wink Stella there. And I've also cut out some bunting. And I've just cut this out in basic white and I'm going to do a little bit of colouring as you can see on that one I've just coloured in the flags so we've got a light a light highland heather let's use that side and I'm just going to colour in the flags Then I've got a dark flirty flamingo. And a dark mint macaron. A nice colourful Christmas caravan. And then I'm just, oh, that side is not, I think I've been flicking with that one. Highland Heather and another yep. <clears throat> Flirty Flamingo and that is going to sit across our caravan. Put glue on my fingers. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue just on those last flags. I'm going to stick that down about there. And there's our little caravan. So as you can see with this one, the box is actually standing on the wheels and this little front bit. Okay. So with the box, we're going to line up 
the edge of the box with the edge of the caravan. Okay. Now a little bit of glue just there. And we'll line that up like so. And then the other caravan, I'll, I'm not going to do any decorating. We're not going to see the back. I mean, if you want to decorate the, the other side, that's entirely up to you. But I am then going to pop that on the other side again lining it up with the bottom of the box so i'm just going to pop a little bit of glue just on the bottom there just so we can line up our caravan it's good when you've got the glue because you've got that little bit of wiggle room a little bit of time just to get it in the right place. And it just lines up perfect with the, the window the other side. And there you go. That didn't take long at all. I'm going to pop some sweets in there. They won't last long. Kids see them, they'll have them. There you go. And there's our two little caravans. Okay, thanks very much for joining me and I'll be back with another Christmas card using the dies. Okay, bye.